Well, I guess we're going to need news from space. Pardon me. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, ignition, and liftoff of the Atlas V with Maven. Looking for clues about the evolution of Mars through its atmosphere. Still at 100% rated thrust on the RD-180. Vehicle rates are looking good. We do have roll program in, right as expected. We are actively controlling mixture ratio. Valve position looks good. Thrust regulator valve position looks good. Speeds are good. And vehicles operating as expected. Continue uh, down the center of the range track. Everything is looking good. We're now 1.6 nautical miles of altitude. 1.1 mi miles downrange, traveling at a little over 1,000 miles per hour. And we have ended our pitch yaw roll programs. Everything is looking good, continuing at 100% thrust. Passing through the sound barrier, Maven is now supersonic. RD-180 continues to operate at 100% rated thrust. We are about to pass through Max-Q. And vehicles passing through Max-Q, rates look good. Engine continues to operate at 100%, and we have throttled down to 95% thrust right on time. nautical miles in altitude, 7.4 miles downrange, traveling at 2,200 miles per hour. Well, it's official. Maven's on its way to Mars. A little less than a year from now, we'll start to see information pouring in from the atmosphere of that big red rock up in the sky. It's the 15th birthday of the ISS. On Tuesday, this past Tuesday, several space agencies sent out tweets every 24 hours under the hashtag PoundISS15. So check that out on Twitter and see what they sent out. Now take a look at some of the photos that come from the ISS. But look at this. This was in the ESA's video on the 15 years. What on earth are those circles in the ocean? Is there anyone out there that can answer that for me? I saw that in here and I thought, wow, that's really interesting. And it's right in their 15th anniversary video, so.